How many of you are anxious about the ongoing climate crisis? The moment when you used to enjoy your aging mood with hot coffee in the morning while reading the newspaper which were overwhelmed by the rising of sea level or the burning forest fire? I can only imagine. Coffee plus climate change is the perfect harmony of our better life. Now, if you are lucky enough, you can continue reading the news or do yoga to calm yourself. But unfortunately, other people, including my parents, have no privilege to begin with. Our lives are chased by the real phenomena that you see on the news. Our daily conversation was concerned about where to move and how to cope with the survival of the fittest challenges. Now imagine, when the next generation has to enjoy this apocalypse even from their childhood, what a dystopian world could it be? I'm your mom, as a representative of the most outstanding student from IBB University, neither am I environmentalist nor am I scientist. I'm a highly passionate student who stand out for our belief. We believe in the power of wisdom in addressing climate change. We believe that SDGs number 13 on climate action need to be enacted in a local specific approach. And we believe that the young generation is the bastions of wisdom and the beacons of justice for our planet. There are two folds on how to manifest our belief. First of all, let's talk about the meta problem of climate action. Frankly speaking, we can easily find a problem in the governments about its aversion in making an ambitious commitment, be it in enacting net zero carbon or transitioning its energy to renewable one. We can also blame the corporation, a coal company, who is responsible for our ecological crisis. Nevertheless, blaming is not equal to solving, yet anger will never make us prosper. Instead of going against the governments and blaming the corporation, I urge all of us to collaboratively work with them support each other as reflected in our nation forte, Gotong Royong. After all, the crux of the problem is contingent on our internal body. Some of us might be littering or abandoning our carbon footprint, not because we are not well informed with the downside of it, rather, we don't actually have enough wisdom to really care about it. Those things are the elephant in the room. Second of all, what you can contribute to solving this problem and what is the importance Let's start with the principle of climate justice. In a nutshell, climate justice emphasizes that all layers of society, including those who are adversely impacted by the climate change, should enjoy a just and idiosyncratic payoff. As youth, we can proactively deliver climate justice in two ways. First, justice recognition. It is important for us to recognize the existence of locally driven climate actions, internalize its wisdom, and embrace these practices to the highest level. And we can actually start to deliver from the modest act yet the essential one, called the twin strategy, comprehensive climate literacy and climate awareness. Climate literacy is not solely about reading the textbook. It's beyond our climate empathy from induced social culture stories around us. Whereas the climate awareness is not simply about the, our consciousness to the urgency of the problem, but it's beyond our proactiveness to deliver the issue. We can start to learn from the Naga community in my hometown or indigenous smaller communities about the wisdom of being responsible for our ecological footprint and see the surrounding environment as an integral part of our life that we need to protect relentlessly. We can also learn from Japan who has used the Kikigaki method for you to proliferate this wisdom. We can push this action and we need to press on. Second, let's talk about the justice distribution. In justice distribution, we have to deliver autonomy and welfare for indigenous group as a commander in chief in our environmental wisdom. The fifth force of current justice distribution enacted by the government on LEDD Plus or private initiative on palm oil core plasma scheme are still with the scale issue. And the scale issue indeed needs you. Now it's your turn. What kinds of justice are you willing to distribute? As youth, I urge you to harness this nuance as identity of our climate action agenda. I urge you to promote justice for the voiceless and wisdom for the mankind. I urge you to channel this issue as our determined contribution for our stages. But nonetheless, five minute speech was not and will never enough to stop an inevitable impact of climate change. The almost willful ignorance that think Jakarta will not sing and the children in the small island of Bungin are safe from the rising of sea level. But these five minutes are extremely important to amplify the fire in our belly in understanding the world as it is and find what the world should be anyway. This is an emergency call and it is time for wisdom to bring on. Think locally, act locally.